I have just come back from having an immunotherapy treatment. And as always, while I'm having it done, I put the world to right with some of the nurses on the ward. And this is relevant because obviously they're all very keen. They're looking forward and hoping that we'll have a change of government on Thursday and we're all crapping ourselves in case it doesn't happen. Obviously, we've all got a lot of skin in the game. And something that came up, and I stress this time and time again, but I want to make sure that you understand it. Since the Tories came in, they have cut frontline services in the guise of saving money. We can't afford it. They've cut, cut police numbers, leading to a rise in crime. They've cut numbers of mental health workers, leading to a rise in people with some quite nasty mental health conditions going untreated and obviously all sorts of other undesirable effects. They have cut social care to the bone. Um, now, all of this done in the guise of saving money, I would like to point this out, and it is important. This costs money. It is a benefit to all of us financially, ignoring whether it's right or wrong, because I'm aware that some people don't care about that, obviously. But people who turn around and say, we can't afford it, we are fed up with spending your money on this, that and the other, aren't actually thinking clearly and fiscally. If you employ adequate police numbers, which the Labour have said that they will do, and you have policemen on the thing, you keep crime down. It saves money. If you feed children in the morning, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, food, sleep, children learn. Those children go on to be a benefit to society because throughout their life they perform better, they are less likely to fall into criminal behaviour and they will earn more money. When they earn more money, they will pay more tax. All of these extra frontline social staff you're holding, guess what? They pay tax too. It saves money. If you fund people at the beginning, it saves money going on. Who do you think's picked up the slack from uh, the mental health services crashing? Oh, yeah, that would be the ambulance service. Only instead of sending out some crisis workers at a cost of probably a couple of hundred quid, they're sending out an ambulance and that costs thousands and achieves nothing. Do not believe that cutting services and cutting spending in the public sector will save you a penny. It doesn't and it never has.